Noodle here, and today I am not doing another Tinker Crate video, but I am doing my first ever drawing tutorial! Whoop, whoop. So today I'm not going to be drawing what you expect, like a giant lion from Narnia or the Mona Lisa Pikachu that I painted a few days ago. I am going to draw something that's cute and funny and clumsy. So, if you could guess what it is, would you rather think of me drawing a grizzly bear, a panda bear, or a kangaroo? Or they're all going to be babies because babies are cute. I'll give you three seconds to guess and um, I'll tell you the answer. Now, I bet some of you have guessed panda, panda, grizzly bear, or um, a little joey, but that's actually very different. I am going to do a baby kitten. So, that, since I love cats, I wanted to do basically something that is cute and cat related. So I wanted to do a baby kitten. I'm, I'm gonna teach you how to draw how cute it is, the big googly eyes, and um, and how clumsy it is, and when you're done with it, even if you make a mistake, it'll still be awesome. Well, I don't wanna keep talking anymore, so why not we just get our pencils ready, and our color pencils ready, and our paper ready, and hop to it! When it comes to drawing, I usually like to draw the eyes, or the nose, or the mouth, or the face, or the cheeks, or the chin. Just anything that's, um, that is in the face. So right now, I'm going to do the super cute eyes. So what I like to do is, I'm going to draw a rather big circle right here. Make sure the circle is good and round. Now, a bit far apart, like right about here. I'm going to draw a second pair of eyes. And now we're gonna add in the reflection. That gives it a more cutie look. So right now, we're gonna draw a huge oval right here. And we're gonna do the same for the other eyes. So now I'm gonna draw two circles and each of them are getting a bit smaller, like that. We're gonna do the same for the other side. Now take your time, you can pause the video if um, you're a bit behind. And, um, and if you're ready, you can play it again. So now, we're gonna draw the, um, the nose. So right now, um, for the nose, I usually like to do a cute oval. That that is actually very cute. Do the same. Do the same on the beneath the eyes and in between. So we're going to draw another circle that's behind this oval. I'm going to do the same. And we and, and we got to make sure that the circles are touching because those are the cheeks. We're going to draw the mouth and there. It's like a bunch of circles that are joined together. So, now I'm going to draw the whiskers. I'm going to do a few dots here. So I know I'm the, where the whiskers are going to be. We're going to do like kind of like a little waterfall on, on every whisker. There, and now you see that it's actually getting more and more cuter. So now I'm gonna draw the eyelashes, which gives it a more cuter look. I'm gonna do like a little, two curved lines on, um, the, on the sides of them, on the sides of the eyes. And now I'm gonna draw the ears. So usually about cats, I usually like to have the ears folded down onto their um, uh, um, I gotta say, I would say heads. So 
right now I would I would do it like this. So it makes and so it makes it look a bit sad or clumsy. That that kind of represents a lot of emotion when the ears are down. So we're gonna do the same on the other side. Make it look like a leaf kind of. So now you can see that it's actually way cuter. We're gonna draw an O, we're gonna curve down, and we're gonna draw the head now. So I'm gonna so we're gonna do kind of like a short dome up in the above and soon we're and now we are curving around the face to create the head there now it doesn't it kind of looks like a dog but when you color it in it, it will actually look way cuter so that's it for the head and now we are going to do the body Um, so for the body, I like to do the cat sitting, not um, uh, um, walking or standing like a dog, that's kind of weird. I like to have it sitting clumsily, clumsy, clumsily, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't get it. Um, uh, I, I, I just like it looking as if it's very clumsy. So that's why I'm gonna, so I, we're gonna draw a line right here. And we're gonna draw another line here. That, re that resembles one of the cat's um, the, um, the legs. And we're gonna do the same here. Like right here. There we go. We're gonna do the same that. There we go. Now, we're gonna draw the paws. I actually experienced this once, and it's best to do it like this, because it actually gives it a more 3D-ish um, feeling. So we're gonna do that, and and if it's if all three paws are um, uh, are not connected to the line, then you can just simply erase it. That's always okay. And um. Uh, you can erase other parts that are um, that are showing. Redraw everything, and voila, back to normal. There we go. Now we're going to do the same on the other side. Now I see that it's not working, so I'm going to do the erase, and then. Draw everything that um, uh, that got erased back in, and draw the line again. There, much cuter now. Okay. When I like to do the other parts of the legs, I like them spread out, spread out. So, because it makes it feel like it's it's tripped or no, or it's like it's having trouble with its first time walking and uh, yes that makes it more cuter so right now we're going to draw one of the legs right here we're going to draw a line mm, we're going to draw two lines for the legs and this is this kind of gave me a little bit of hard times um that it's drawing the feet so i'm going to draw it like this the same but it looks mm, but now it looks like it's pointing this way, not this way, like how these are. So now, I'm gonna draw the pads for the feet. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna draw the next pad. And then, since we're done with the first leg, well, the third leg, we're gonna finish on the last one. It's okay if um, if the leg goes out of the page. And yeah, I gotta say, it's it's fine if you make a mistake. Because my mom always says, if you make a mistake, just try, try again. I think. I, I don't know. I forgot what my mom used to say. But still. See? And there's only two, there's only two toes in the page and one's out. It's okay for me. 
I just keep going on. I'm gonna draw the pads again. There. So now we're gonna draw the bottom part, the torso. So, there, just an easy line. So, it still kind of looks like a dog mixed with a walrus, mixed with a cat. But not for long. I'm gonna draw the tail. So, I like it, I'm gonna do a very big wavy little tail. Make it into an S, that's, no, that's the easiest for me. So now that we've completed the cat, we can finally draw little cutie cat in. And if you're, fr if you want to, you can draw a nice little collar like that, and give it a little bell. bell that's fine so now we are going to color the cat in with this prismic color and the pencil and the colored pencil kit so right now I'm gonna draw the simplest parts of the cat like the pads so that's when pink comes in we're gonna color all the pads and the nose and a bit of the ears pink too to give it a more um, a realistic feeling because you know how some cats um a, their their pads look um a pink or black or any kind and that's what we're going to do so we're going to color in the nose with a nice pink you can use any color you any color you like but i usually do pink because it's better Draw a little pink here, a little pink, 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 pink. There, looks better. So now, I'm gonna, um, the most basic ca baby cat thing that I usually like to do is make it either um, a tan, like give it a tan and white fur, cause that's what I would do with mine. So, and then, or you can just color it whatever you want. It could be purple or black, or or gray or or black or brown it's, it's basically let your imagination run wild but for now i i would rather do this so so with this this color is kind of like a yellowish um a brownish color that gives it a perfect tone for my cat so right now i'm going to draw uh, a basic triangle right there. And then we're gonna have the triangle cut across the eyes. Um, and then we're gonna color the rest in. There we go. Just color everything in. Okay, now that we're done with um, with the triangle, I'm gonna draw the cat's eyes blue. Since it's a kitten, it, it all cats are born with blue eyes, so I like to do this turquoise color, or teal. We're gonna color these eyes in nice bright blue. Because as I said before, and all and all kittens are born with blue eyes. I actually read it in a book once. It's actually very true. I'm gonna color the next eye in. There. Now he's starting to get into character. So I usually color everything that needs to be colored, such as the tail, because as I've seen before, there's a there's a cat that actually has a very brown tail. 
and it has brown stripes on it. So, I'm going to draw these very brown stripes, almost like a chocolateish color. And I'm going to draw those stripes all around the, the tail, and um, I'm going to color that in with, um, the, with this too. And um, we can color in the, the collar and the fur. So give me a minute and I'll be done quickly. Okay, now that I'm done, I can finally color the tail in with a nice yellowish brownish color. There, it's starting to look more natural. There, bask in the glow. So now that we've gotten the fur and the tail done, I'm gonna color in the collar. So, usually the most famous color of collars is red. Like in Minecraft, or, or on other dogs and cats. I'm gonna just give it a nice color feeling. There. And also, if you don't have any of them, uh, these colors, at, uh, if you don't have this color box of, um, of stuff or any if you don't have um, uh, the equipment that I have right now it's okay to just use your crayons or um, uh, other color pencils you have and um, uh, yeah just you know, like I said a while before let your imagination run wild I'm gonna grab this there we go so right now I'm going to color in the bell Darker. And then finally, to color in um, uh, these black spots, I'm going to use a black color pencil and just color in. There we go. I'm going to color this in too. There. It's much better. So now we got a complete cat. And I usually like to get a bit more realistic, so I'm gonna draw quickly draw in like the fur. I usually do small light pencil strokes, so it gives it more texture, or I don't know. It's just it just looks better that way. So there we go. That is basically the end of my tutorial and how to draw a cute kitty cat. And now, if you if you have completed the drawing, if even though it's not good, it's okay. It's it's basically. I hope you please like and subscribe to my video and check out other videos on my channel and keep a lookout for the new parts of the of my movie, the Harry movie, part one and part two. Part two is going to be coming out in a bit, and I'll see you next time. See you later.